It's Monday, it's summer, and God loves you. I'm telling you, this can be the best day of your life. You know, Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly, and your real life can be better than you ever dreamed of. I'm Amy Schaefer. Coming up, we have more with the historian. Are you kidding? Barbara Burson. I love the city, and I love to hear the history behind it. But first, let's get to music. I'm here with Ellie Stanchek. It's so great to have Hi. you here. So you're singing this song called We Are the Key that you actually wrote about our great city, Pittsburgh. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, just tying it in with the history. This song incorporates prophetic words that have been spoken over Pittsburgh, including one word saying that uh, Pennsylvania is the keystone state yeah. and that we're going to be the key to unlocking our nation in revival. Yes. Which is awesome. And I really believe that we can sing in a revival when we put these words to song and we put our faith behind them that God can move. That's right. Yeah. I cannot wait to hear this song. We <laughs> are the key. We are the keystone state. That's and we're right. going to hear the history of Pittsburgh. Today is a great day. That's right. <laughs>
Sydney Grant for Good News 360, where we bring you stories showing how God is on the move. Is God a mathematician? One of the world's most respected scientists thinks so. Mikio Kaku is a physicist and says there's proof God exists. Kaku developed the string theory, a concept that believes particles are tiny vibrating strings like a violin. Kaku says God is the mastermind behind it all and that the mind of God is reflected through cosmic music resonating through hyperspace. Kaku says as these scientific discoveries continue to be explored, the concept of chance will forever be changed. And a woman praised God after the man behind the Heimlich maneuver saved her from choking at a retirement home. 96-year-old Henry Heimlich was in the right place at the right time when Patty Reese started choking on a hamburger during dinner at their senior home in Cincinnati. Heimlich performed his technique on Reese after he noticed she had trouble breathing. In a thank you note, Reese wrote to Heimlich, God put me in that seat right next to you. And check out this beautiful baptism by the sea. Both the young and the old lined the shores of Pemba, Mozambique for the sacred demonstration. Heidi Baker and volunteers with her ministry, Iris Global, performed this baptism ceremony. Iris Global is a Christian humanitarian organization which serves thousands living in impoverished villages in Mozambique and around the world. That's all for Good News 360. Have a great day on purpose. having a great day on purpose. Man, we're so glad that you joined us. We've got an exciting show. I'm here with Anna Fry. Yes, hi, we get to talk about Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. today. And I love the song that Ellie sang about, you know, God, let your revival, let your spirit come in the city. Let it start here in the Keystone State yes. and unlock that move of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, I can remember being a little girl and my parents driving me into the city. Like we yeah. lived probably 45 minutes away. So going to the city was a big deal yeah. and just driving in. And I was so mesmerized by yeah. how beautiful Pittsburgh was. And so, I still, every time I drive in, I'm still mesmerized and it gets more beautiful as the years go by. Yeah, I love the, the part, you know, we expect to see your power to move. Mm, That's what yes. revival is. Mm -hmm. Revival is, is bringing to life again that which is dead or lethargic or right. disconnected. So revival can start in me, mm -hmm. in us today. We don't have to wait for someday revival's going to come. No, what is revival? Right. It's a move of God yes. where many, many people, and guess who gets all the glory in revival? Jesus. Right. Mm -hmm. He heals sure. people, saves people, sets them free. Oh That's man, right. it's, I love his it. His eyes are on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you were going to say his eyes. <laughs> the old him, his eyes are no, on the sparrow I was just too. Every person who is watching today, yeah. every loved one yeah. of the people watching today, God has his eye on them. He is pursuing their heart yeah. and bringing that revival, bringing that light to mm. our city. Yes. Our beautiful city of mm -hmm. Pittsburgh, which I cannot wait till historian Barbara comes on. I mean, she is loaded Whoa. with information I'm about I, I don't even know how we can get this all in the few <laughs> minutes that we have with her because her yeah. books, you guys, they're like, they're like a whole library of information yeah, on our city. Right. And I know one thing for sure, Anna, God wants to move in our lives individually, but he wants yes. to move in our city yes. and in our state and beyond that. He wants to move in our country. Mm -hmm. And Amen. I believe right now, like never before, there is a shaking going That's on right. and right. we need to wake up. But yes, the church needs to rise. Yes. Wake up, rise, know the purpose that God has given you in this kingdom of God that he's bringing here to yeah. earth. And we need to be mm -hmm. the light. I love this Motivational Monday quote. We want you to go to our Facebook page, like our Facebook page and share this quote with your friends and family. Here it is. Faith includes mm -hmm. noticing the mess, the emptiness and discomfort. I'm going to say in Pittsburgh or in your area of the world and letting it be there until some light returns mm -hmm. by Anne Lamont. We are the light of the world. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We can bring that light. We're hoping to bring some of that today on this Monday. There's no such thing as a dreary Monday around no. here. Oh, no, we mm -hmm. shine bright for Jesus. That's what we're yes. going to do here. Listen, if you have any needs or you're going through anything in life and you need to call somebody, you need to talk to somebody and you need somebody to pray with you, our prayer partners are waiting to hear from you mm -hmm. and the call us at 888-665-665. 4483 and we are going to after this break we're going to be right back with so much wisdom and cool stories right. we'll see you in just a minute 
Hi, it's Corey from Sister to Sister. You're in for a great show this week. We're talking all about kids. How do you get your kids to do your devotions? Do you want your kids to be cool? When is too young to have the talk? And do you spank your kids? You better tune in this week because I got the spanking spoon. On average, Cornerstone receives over 300 phone calls a day, 24 seven. But have you ever wondered what happens to your prayer request after you hang up the phone? On Real Life, we pray for every call, whether it's mentioned on air or not. And we even pray for them during our weekly chapel. Then we lay hands on your request and anoint it with oil, believing for your miracle. As Jesus tells us in Matthew 18, 20, for where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there in the midst of them. If you need prayer at any time, call us. We would love to pray with you. We are back with Barbara Burston. She joins us to talk more about Pittsburgh's Jewish history from her books, Jewish Pittsburgh and Still City Jews. Barbara, welcome to Thank the Thank you, pleasure to be here. Pleasure okay, to be so here. Motivational Monday. Tell us what motivated the Jewish people to make the impact in Pittsburgh that they made. I think a number of things. First of all, a, a religious sense that uh, you know, that God inspires you and that you need to do something for others, uh, whether it's volunteering, whether it's charity, whether it's just uh, your time and expertise in trying to promote a cause. One of the things that I loved in doing the research that I did, using history as a motivational uh, tool, because there were so many people who I learned about, who I didn't know about, who did such important things in their lives who made contributions to other people and and that's inspiring when you yes. when you read about them and in various for the Jewish community in various walks of life which yeah. which I found fascinating right yeah I think it's interesting that when the when the Jewish people came here, they did not settle and go to work in the steel mills, no. which is, we're calling it Steel City Jews. We're in the steel mills, that's where people worked. They came and they created jobs and businesses. Well, they were the merchants yes. who supplied, you know, in the communities. Uh, they were also involved in the, in the labor movement. Uh, Jews were not necessarily in the, in the heavy industry. They were in some of the lighter industry. Mm -hmm. uh, stogie manufacturing, did you ever hear of that? I don't know. Do you stogie. know what a stogie is? Mm -hmm. I know what a well, stogie yeah, is. Okay. Right, right. That right. used to be okay. a big industry in Pittsburgh for the immigrants who lived on the hill, not yes. just Jews, but Italians and other immigrants. And uh, this was a an easy way to at least make a living. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, but the stogie industry was gradually taken over. Cleveland, unfortunately, became our rival there. Wow. But garment, a small uh, industries and then later beginning uh, in the 20th century some Jews did go into heavy industry um, uh, particularly um, uh, scrap steel mm -hmm. and and but not this the the major mills uh, there was discrimination that's one reason why Jews were not uh, uh, accepted um, and that, of course, is another whole subject about the discrimination in Pittsburgh and what Jews faced, as well as others. Um, yeah, so. Tell us a little bit about that. How, were they somewhat welcomed or not welcomed at all? Well, I don't think Pittsburgh was as, uh, Pittsburgh was more of a welcoming community. Okay. But there was social discrimination. Jews sure. uh, could not get into various schools. Jews were not welcomed in some of the major really? social clubs. So they oh. formed their own. Okay. And uh, they couldn't get jobs in major industries. Uh, I don't know if I should start naming uh, banks and major corporations would not hire Jews in the 1930s and even into the wow. 1940s. Um, and so that's why Jews wanted to set up their own businesses so they didn't have to deal with being uh, sure. denied opportunities. Yeah. They went into the professions and uh, business. As a matter of fact, I still visit one of these businesses weekly called Giant Eagle. Yes, right? Giant Eagle started with uh, four immigrant Jews, came here and just opened up very small 
groceries and gradually was taken over. And of course, Giant Eagle today is a major uh, chain and also a major philanthropic uh, foundation right. that gives throughout the community and beyond uh, to Israel as well as in America and so forth. So yes, that is certainly one of the major, perhaps That's the most true. visible success story of uh, immigrant Jews. Can you tell us a little bit about what Giant Eagle is doing as far as philanthropy goes? Tell well, us something uh, inspiring. They've uh, been very active. For instance, I, I teach. I know that they've been sponsoring uh, students, the Jewish student organization on campus. It's called the Hillel Jewish University uh, Center. Uh, the Shapiras, which is the found one of the the leading family now of that foundation, are sponsoring, um, supporting that. They're sending Jewish students to Israel on a program called Birthright. Uh, they help with that and other kinds of uh, activities. So they've they've been involved. Plus, Giant Eagle uh, hires special needs. People. people. This is one of the yes. major things. If you go to a Giant Eagle, often you will see people who couldn't get jobs elsewhere are hired by Giant Eagle to okay. uh, uh, to work, right. give them something. I was kind of excited on a lighter note to see the inventor of the terrible towel oh, yes. and the oh. voice of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So if you're a lover of Pittsburgh of, at all, you are definitely a Steeler fan. So tell us about Myron. Well, Myron Cope was Myron Koppelman yeah. and a Jewish boy from Squirrel Hill who had a long career. And of course, those of us who remember his, uh, you know, W, I mean his voice and so forth. Uh, he was clearly a uh, quintessential. But you know, it, it's interesting because Jews were into sports. The the pirates were brought to Pittsburgh by um, uh, Barney Dreyfus, who was Jewish, wow. and and baseball That's was the cool. quintessential American sport. Yes. And and Jews wanted to be accepted, and mm -hmm. so to support. Uh, a baseball was really kind of achieving a dream. And of course, he started the World Series in 1903, I believe, which the Pirates lost. Uh, he founded Forbes Field for those who go can remember awesome. that before Three Rivers Stadium. Uh, so baseball was really, uh, Barney Dreyfus was a major, was a major player there. So cool. That is yeah. neat. Yeah. I love yeah. it. No, okay, no, no. so you have done so much research. Aside from baseball, what other exciting discoveries have you found? In the arts, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Jews were uh, in, in the, it was interesting because so Jewish artists at the turn of the century, a man by the name of Aaron Gorson, mm -hmm painted Pittsburgh. He loved all the smoke and the dark right, clouds yes. of okay. Pittsburgh. And he made it look as if this was really an attractive. He, he loved all mm -hmm. that. And he gave a new way of looking at Pittsburgh that the steel uh, tycoons loved it because they made the steel mills and all the smoke and everything. He made it look beautiful. Wow. And up to wow. this time, nobody would think that we looked beautiful. beautiful. Sure. And then, of course, later on, um, the smoke control and a lot of those issues, uh, Abraham Walk was a major player trying to uh, institute smoke abatement and so forth. So, you know, there are a lot of different kinds of activities I could name. Uh, doctors who, uh, Bernie Fisher, who's still alive, he's well into his 90s, uh, developed a, a treatment for breast cancer, which was a major oh, discovery. Wow. Jonas Salk, of course, with the polio vaccine, was Jewish. Uh, oh. ma major figures in sports and in um, medicine sure. and across well, I the tell board. You what, we are so thankful <laughs> that the Jewish people came to Pittsburgh yes. and for the influence that they had. Thank you for the research that you have done and have brought to <laughs> us all you. the fun, fun stories. It's been fun. Thank all right, you. well, we will be right back with Don and Terry to pray for all the requests that have been called in during this hour. Stay with us. Need healing, a touch from the Lord or encouragement? We've got a prescription from the great physician just for you. Faith Rx, Cornerstone's special CD of spiritual encouragement and prayer from Don Black and Gary Mitrick. Call today with your monthly gift to the ministry to receive this special CD. Play it in your car or home or share it with friends and trust God in your healing today through Faith Rx. Hi, I'm 
I'm Denise Graves, and I want to invite you to watch More Than a Song every Tuesday at 10 a.m. and 9 p.m., featuring some of your favorite music artists sharing their stories and music. Music touches our spirits and brings us into the presence of God. Join us each week as we draw closer to Him. Welcome back. We're here to pray for you as we close this program. Before we do, I want to just a little shout out to Amy and her church, Yay. which is which is a really yeah. great thing. They have started a well, I guess a business of sort. It's a <laughs> peace, love, and little donuts. It's if you're in Monroeville area, Murraysville, Monroeville area, and you want a really cool donut. I mean, you didn't start the business. You. It's a, it's a franchise that's, that's big in this area. Yeah, I know. Great donuts, so and thank you for bringing yeah, them in. Notice little. the boxes are almost empty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. everybody's been yeah, eating yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, well, we just got minutes, but you, you, yeah. they're, they're great. Mm -hmm. Terry and, and my family have discovered a new love. <laughs> I know, new I love. think it's a cute idea. One donut, but with all these customized toppings. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Moving on, moving on. <laughs> And you've got a prayer request. Yes, a woman called in. She is hurt and depressed over a breakup, a recent breakup. Um, her boyfriend was unsaved. She is saved. And I just want to say that God has the perfect person. He has something that will just bring so much fulfillment to you. And we'll be praying, praying for you. Roberta here is pulling on my heartstrings. She feels loveless lonely and she's in a bad marriage and she feels left behind. So I just pray that you feel like the hug of the Lord right now and that know that you are loved and you are valued and you're important to God and to us. Amen. Well, Amen. Steve, I'm, we're going to pray for you because you said that you fell back into drugs, oh. you know, and you're not living in a great place. So I'm sure that it just adds to your wanting to stay with drugs. So we're just, Lord, just take yes. that desire Jesus away name. from Him in Jesus' name and go forward. Be firm in your, in your steps. There's mm -hmm. all, lots of prayer requests. Mm -hmm. Know this, if we don't pray or mention you by name on the program, we are praying for you in our prayer area and our prayer partners are praying for you too. It's such a, 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 a real privilege to be able to pray and to believe with you as you struggle through things, as you celebrate things with praise reports. You know, uh, from uh, Irene, her daughter got out of jail, needed to go get her job back. They didn't want to hire her back, but they did. They prayed for her and she's back in, in her old job. So get a brand new beginning. Those are good things. Uh, very excited about the books, let me have those real quick. Right? Yes. This is great work. I want to encourage you to, yes. to, to go onto our website. We're going to show you how you can get copies for yourself. If you if you want to know more about Pittsburgh and see it through the perspective that Barbara has, has uh, written about, it's awesome, awesome. I, I want you to know that we care about you as our family. And guys, thank you. You did a great job. That was a great interview. Oh, yeah, it was. Good job. How about and, the pirates? How about, yeah. <laughs> how about the terrible towel? Wave, wave oh, the towel even though Myron, it isn't the season. Oh, thank you, Myron. <laughs> you started something we're forever yeah, grateful. Yeah, wave for that towel. We're, we're, we're excited that you join us. We're here every day. Invite you to come back tomorrow for real life. Uh, we'll see what God's going to do next. He always does. Amy, what's coming up next oh, on the we're network? I'm so excited because coming up next is Origins. Jay Seeger takes a look at whether evolution is probable or problematic. That is next on Cornerstone Network. And I love Origins. Nowhere else can you get that kind of program. Ellie Standwick is here with us. Love the song about Pittsburgh. That was an awesome song. She's going to, her and her, 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 her Partners are going to sing with us and to us as we as they sing. Good, good Father. Father. Yeah. 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 Yeah.